everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica of Miss More Style, and today I'm going to be demoing and reviewing the GHD Classic Wave Wand and the GHD Creative Curl Wand. So if you guys wanna see how these work and how I achieved this hair that I'm rocking right now, just keep on watching. be a great air traffic controller, don't you guys think? It's noisy today. Maybe you can hear the plane. Maybe you can hear the guy outside doing construction, but we're just gonna keep going. The show must go on. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are brand new, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join my little fam here on YouTube. It's growing and I just really love making awesome video content for you guys here. I do a lot of fashion, lifestyle, and hair as well as travel. This is actually my first ever hair video here on YouTube. I'm so, so excited because I love doing my hair. I get compliments on my hair all the time. And so I'm excited to start sharing my tips and tricks on my hair. Now I get asked a lot if I have hair extensions. The answer to that question is no. Everything you see here grows out of my head naturally. I am very blessed with a full head of hair, but you'll see in like the next segment that it's very, very strong straight and I like it to be sort of curly and voluminous like this. So I went to an event recently for GHD and I'll roll to some of the footage from that because it was so much fun. It was at a rooftop in, shut up at a rooftop in Hollywood and they basically introduced us to all these different tools and their wands and their hair, their blow dryers and all their good stuff. So they sent me home with these two wands as well as their flat iron and their blow dryer. So I'm just so excited to try out this brand. I had actually never heard of them before I was invited to the event, but um, so far I'm very impressed with their tools. So enough about my jibber jabbering. If you guys want to check these tools out for yourself, I'll leave a link down below um, to each product page of these two wands so you can check them out. Just so you know, they do retail for a $199. It's a little bit more on the expensive side for um, a hair tool, I know, but let me tell you, and you will see, these are amazing, and I will say that my hair really just manages to stay. It has such longevity when I use these tools. I have some other comparable um, in price uh, hairstyling tools that I've been using for a little while, but I have to say they do not hold up the way that these do. So. I am kind of newly converted to this brand, if you can't tell. I just wanna also give you a little side note. I am in no way sponsored by GHD. This video, I just simply wanted to show you guys these hair tools. They did gift me these hair tools, but with no sort of obligation or expectation of creating this YouTube video for you guys. I just love them so much, I really wanted to share you. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm going to get into showing you all and demoing these heat tools and showing you guys how I achieve this wild and crazy curly look. So keep watching. So this is my hair. I let it air dry yesterday and then this morning I had it up in a bun so it just kind of looks like wavy nothingness. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair. Um, I have a lot of hair, um, unfortunately. Well, I'm not gonna say unfortunately because it's good to have a lot of hair, I think. And I basically separate the majority of my hair up on top of my head. And then I take a clip, clip that out of the way so that I can basically start from the first layer and just keep letting hair down as I go. So I have unboxed both of these wands. Difference is the Creative Curl Wand. So you guys can see it's kind of flat and it sort of tapers off to the end. It has a tip, like a, a silicone tip right here so that you can um, style your hair a little bit easier and not burn yourself so much. And to 
contrast that with the classic wave wand. So this one is just a little bit more like straight up and down and you can see that it's not perfectly round, it's kind of flattened. So these wands are supposed to help you get sort of more of like a glamorous motion is what they say. So according to their website, the classic wave wand, it has a one and a half inch oval shaped wand barrel. It creates glossy defined waves and glamorous movement on longer hair, which is perfect for me. If you kind of want um, to do your hair and you don't want it to look like too perfectly curly, which is what I find is what my hair kind of looks like when I use a curling iron, this is supposed to give you that sort of more undone but glamorous look. So both of these wands use a patented ultra zone technology, which basically means they lock in your curls with the right even heat. Heat. So they don't get crazy hot, but they somehow create waves and curls that literally last for days. I haven't had these for too long, but I just used them like last weekend and I swear for three straight days, I had amazing waves and curls that did not go away. So there's really something to be said for this. So it has an advanced ceramic coating, which is supposed to allow for like more smooth styling of your hair. The other thing that I freaking love about their heat products is they have a safety feature which turns them off automatically after 30 minutes of not being used because I don't know about you but whenever I do my hair and then I go out and leave my house literally like when I'm like 15 minutes away from my house I have that thought in my head that's like oh my god did I turn off my curling iron <laughs> Okay, I know I'm not the only woman who has this fear. I feel like so many of my friends that I've talked to that we all have this like irrational fear of like not turning off our curling iron or flat irons and then like our freaking apartment building or house burning down. So that is something to love about these because you know, even if you use them and maybe you forgot to turn them off, you know in 30 minutes they're gonna shut themselves off and you don't have to have anxiety about it. Yes, thank you for that GHD. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna plug these both in. So we're both plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and push their little power buttons on. That one's on. They kind of sing to you. I really like that about them. These take about like 30 seconds to heat up. Not too long at all. So we'll let that. I think that means that it's ready to go. feels hot. I'm gonna try to use the little glove that comes with it. I never usually use these when I'm styling my hair, but I've been burning my fingers lately, so I feel like maybe I should give it a try. <laughs> it's a new fashion statement. I think Michael Jackson would have liked this. I'm gonna do the bottom layer. The side I'm going to do with the classic wave wand, and this one I'm gonna do with the creative curl wand. So you can see sort of the difference between the two, and then for the rest of my hair, I'm just gonna kinda like switch back and forth between them for like a really sort of tousled, undone look. So here we go. One thing that I always make sure to do is I take the wand, you wanna point it downwards like so, and then you want to wrap your hair around it. And I let it hold for about 15, seconds or less usually and then voila there you can see is what the classic wave produces didn't take that long to curl it I probably could have let it go a little bit sooner again there we go and I'm realizing now that I'm wearing the glove on the wrong hand hello Jessica wake up let's try this again just take sections that are about an inch thick, just wrap around. Always kind of keep the ends away from the barrel just because I like my look to be a little bit, feel a little bit more undone and less perfect. Already brushed my hand up against this wand with my glove on, so I'm kind of glad that I'm using it now. It's probably a smart thing to do. So you can see, this is the side with the classic wave want. We're going to flip to the other side and I'm going to do it with the creative curl and I just want to see like how much of a difference it really makes in my hair. 
So again, take your wand, point it downwards, and then curl your hair away from your face. If you curl it the other way, it looks weird. It just doesn't fall right, in my opinion. I'm gonna go. There you can see it's definitely a lot tighter. These are a lot more loose. I'm gonna hold it a little bit closer, um, the ends a little bit more, because I feel like the first one was turned out a little bit wonky, so. I'll try to hold as much of my hair strand to the barrel this time. Woo! <laughs> she bouncy. Boing! <laughs> These curls, I can already tell, are like much, much bouncier than this. on the edge doing the other side without the glove on. I always find it really hard to get the hair that's like in the very back of my head because I really have to like twist my head around to get that full curl like the ones in the front get. You can already tell that this side of my hair is thicker than this side, but it is what it is. You can see these curls with the creative curl wand are a lot bouncier and this over here is just a lot more like loose and undone. So now that I've done that, because I don't want to do my whole head like this one and then that because that's going to look absolutely crazy, I'm going to use both of them and just alternate between the two and sort of get myself a look that kind of looks a little bit more like messy, not perfect. And this is something that I've done in the past before with other um, hair styling tools where I'll use like two different size uh, curling iron barrels with my hair just to give it that sort of like not perfect look. You guys know what I mean. All right, I'm gonna turn on the AC and uh, when I have something to say, I'll turn it off and, and say it. I don't wanna be a hot sweaty mess by the time this video is over. Another thing you can do to sort of give yourself a little bit more like smoothness is to sort of like pull down this way as you're done and it kind of helps to like make it look a little bit more like flowing and rather than like an abrupt like curl. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but in my head it did. I know I said earlier to always wrap your hair away from your face, but a trick that I learned from a hairstylist is once you get past your ears, you can wrap it towards your face every so often, and going in that opposite direction really kind of helps to create that sort of messy look that I'm trying to go for here. Make sure that you do it only after you've gone past your ears, because if you do it in front of your ears when it's too close to your face, that's when it starts to look a little bit wonky. And I'll probably, usually when I curl my hair, I hairspray each layer as I finish it. But honestly, with this, with these curling irons, they really hold the curl. And I have pretty coarse hair, so my hair stays really well on its own, but I have been using some other curling irons in the last couple years that make a lot of promises and I'm not going to name names because I still like their brand, but my curls don't hold as long. And with these, I see a huge, huge difference in the longevity of my style. So that is one reason that I'm already a huge fan of GHD. It does take me a fair amount of time to curl my hair, probably not as much as when I'm filming myself doing it, but it takes me about 35 minutes on a good day to curl all my hair. It's a commitment, but like I said, my hair is really coarse, so if I do this one day and uh, use dry shampoo correctly, I can make this last for me for two to three or sometimes four days, depending on if I didn't work out too hard at the gym and got sweaty. 
So it is kind of worth the time investment for me. Definitely not like my everyday routine, that is for sure. My hair does not want to part appropriately today. Come on, hair. Oh, so I know I said a little earlier that you shouldn't curl uh, towards your face, and then I said that you could, but only after you get past your ears. Well, I'm gonna go back to my first statement now that we're on the top layer of hair. This is where you only want to curl away from your face when you're on the very top layer of your hair because this will help everything to sort of lay better and this is like the top part that everyone's going to see. You've already sort of mismatched it underneath so now is the time to sort of just try to make it look a little bit more uniform. It just starts to look a little bit weird when you curl towards your face on the top. As you can see, I got lazy about putting the glove on and I did burn myself a little bit. I love my hair curly. It's my favorite. I wish my hair was naturally curly, but then again, I know plenty of curly haired girls that wish their hair was naturally straight, so I guess, you know, everybody just wants what they don't have. And if you love what you have, freaking kudos to you, because I am never satisfied. I think we are finished. I just do like a little check in my hair to see if I can find any straight ones. There's one right there. A little curl. Awesome. It looks like we're good otherwise. This is the finished product with the wands. Just turn them both off. They sing to you when you turn them off as well, which is so fun. But to finish things off, I kind of want my hair to like look super voluminous. So I just got this in the other day from my friends over at Dry Bar. This is their new Southern Belle volume boosting powder. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the mousse, the Southern Belle mousse, but I've loved the Southern Belle mousse for a while and they just recently came out with powder for dry hair. Because sometimes out of the shower, I forget to put the mousse in when my hair is wet um, and a lot of times I let my hair air dry anyway so I'm not really thinking like when I get out of the shower like oh let's put in some volumizing mousse for like what I might want to do to my hair later so this is a great option um, because it is for dry hair Lift your hair and put in a couple pumps here and there oh and it smells so good all of dry bar stuff smells incredible and you just kind of like massage it into your scalp wow that definitely that definitely gave me something there i'm gonna toss a little little bit i kind of like when my hair looks a little bit like messy and voila so this is my finished look with using both the ghd classic wave wand and the ghd creative curl wand i hope that this video introduced you to ghd um, they're a great brand or maybe you found out about a new wand that might work better for your hair needs. I know I certainly love these and I'm going to be adding them to my heat styling collection along with my more classic curling irons. If you guys maybe want to see videos where I just use each one of these individually so you can see like what your whole head would look like with just one or the other, leave me a comment down below. I'm definitely open to doing something like that so just let me know, send me a request and I will put it in for you. Well it has been so much fun. I am sweating already so i'm going to get out of here if you love this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button ding the little bell and uh yeah you guys are going to love the content that i have coming up next for you but for now i'm starting to sweat in this room so i'm gonna get out of here but i will see you guys on the next one bye